Hello and welcome to Caravanning with the Misses. Thank you very much for watching today's little video. And if you didn't, if you haven't subscribed, we'd really appreciate it if you didn't mind subscribing. And then you'll get free notifications every time we upload a video. So that'd be great. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the space saving saucepans I bought. I bought them probably about five years five months ago, uh, shortly after we got the caravan. Um, I'll just look at my notes down here. Um, yeah, so, and we've been, as you know, well, from looking at our last previous videos, uh, we've done quite a lot of cooking in the caravan in the driveway. Uh, so we've probably used them now, probably for about 20, probably made about 20 meals with them actually. Um, not looked after them at all, so bashed them about a bit as we will do in the caravan. Um, so I thought I'd let you know how we're getting on and what they're like. Um, I bought these particular ones because um, there's three of them in the set. They've got one lid and they all share one handle between them. So therefore they're quite good in the caravans for saving space in the cupboards, which is quite good. Um, and also having the one pot, if I think about the cooking I do at home, I usually use probably about one pot at a time, I mean one lid at a time, maybe two, um, but that's okay. So yeah, so they three pot saucepans, one lid and one handle. Um, and I've got a separate fry frying pan which did didn't come with this set. Now here's the lid to the, all the saucepans. It's got, um, if you can focus in, yeah, you can see this ridge round here, which is designed to fit all three saucepans. They're slightly different, uh, slightly different sizes there. Quite a nice little lid with a little peepee -pee hole there to let the steam out. Um, oh, better say what these are. These are Masterclass Smart Space. Um, saucepans as well, three piece set. I got them from Amazon uh, for about 30 pounds. Um, they're out of stock at the moment, but you can get them all over the internet and lots of places. So that's the lid. Uh, we've got, I've just stacked them inside each other. They are coated, non-stick coating. So as you can probably see, this, the coating's getting a little bit scratched there. Just so we're not looking after them at all. We bash them around. I will probably start to use um, a little bit of um, a little bit of paper or card between them when they stack up so they don't scratch so much. So now I've taken that one out, you can probably see a couple more. I don't know if you can see any scratches, but there are, yeah, that, they are, oh, I'll get that focusing. Yeah, so there are some scratches starting, mainly around the edges here actually. Um, but yeah, there, so you just need to look after them a little bit. So there's the three, one little one and a slightly bigger one. I'll put their sizes down in a minute because I don't think I've got the sizes on them. No, they haven't. So I'll put them, I'll put them down at the bottom of the video. Um, and then there's the third one. Beautiful, look at that. So handle, nice and easy. Only one thing to note with the handle is because it's fairly heavy-ish, especially if you're using the small saucepan uh, with the handle on the size, on the side, it's, um, Actually, this is the medium one, but if you use the small one or the medium one, because the handle's quite heavy, they can tip over a little bit um, on the hob, so you need to watch out for that if you've not got much in the saucepan. So basically, to use them, there's a the saucepan, there's the handle, boom, 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 go like that. Put, yeah, just put it on the side, squeeze the trigger there, like that, and then it's nice and firm. So that's fine for doing your stuff. Uh, they've never fallen off, so no problems there. It's never slipped or anything. Um, and then to release it, just, um, oh, to release it, you pull the trigger at the same time. So you squeeze the trigger and you slide this bit back. And then you let go of the trigger and then it, off it comes. So just a little bit of practice there, getting that, um, getting that movement going, but yeah. So but to hold, to clamp on, just, so yeah, what I'll do is I'll just show you a video now of um, us making some of our food using these saucepans. Um, and then after that, that'll be the end of the video. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as I say, don't forget to subscribe. We'd really appreciate it if you didn't mind. I'm doing today's vlog from inside the house because it's chucking it down outside and it's a bit miserable in the van today at the, at the moment, to be honest. It's a bit dark and, dark and dreary. 
Okie dokie, so there we go. I'll see you uh, next time. Look after yourselves. I quite like this pan. One handle does the job. It's a, uh, what is it, masterclass. Got it somewhere on, somewhere on, um, on, 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 on Amazon. Like the handle, put it there, pull the handle, jobs are good. So, let's get rid of the water. I'm listening to BBC Radio 6 now, which is quite nice. Radio 2 got a little bit, uh, a little bit, what? Uh, mature, for a bit slow. Right. So, dun dun dun, bum bum. So we're going to need a bit of S and P on the old. Uh, not too much. I need like a little bit of salt there and a reasonable amount of the old pepper. Still keeping the pan on a little bit. This is how I do my um, uh, mashed potatoes. What do I need now? I need the masher. I need something to stir them around with as well because it's coated. Where's the masher? We've got a masher in here. And we? Yeah, oh, there he is. There's the Della Mescher. In fact, might just be able to get away with the mesh on its own. Just to stir them around a touch. And then...